Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain creating a drop down list. We will add, edit and remove the list items from a drop down list in Excel 2016. Let's continue the tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I just opened the Excel and selecting the blank workbook. Now here we got a sheet 1. I will show you three methods to create a drop down list. The first simplest way, if we have a small list of items, we can create a drop down list uh, and selecting the D column to create a drop down list. After selecting the D column, D1, select the data. In the data, notice there is a data tools. Above the data tools, there is a data validation. Click that one. And below the options, select the first option data validation. And here in the data validations and the settings, allow from this drop down list, select the list. After we select the list, come to the source. Then we have a small list of items. For example, here I am adding some fruit camps, apple banana kiwi fruit grapes mango and that's it for this example i have added five fruit names click ok that's it and notice here we got a drop down list this is the one way we can create a drop down list when we have a small list of items we can create like this now the second one um, here we have some student names for example uh, Jack is there, Jack, Peter, Ben, uh, Rajesh, um, Ali, um, Vamshi, Lalita, Kumar. Now these are the student list names I have. Now I want to add this list to a new drop down list. So I'm selecting the E column. You can add anywhere. For this example, I'm selecting the E column E, E1. After selecting the E, now again, choose the data, data validations, any value, click list. After getting the list, notice the source, click this button. Once you click the button, we got the small window now you can select the range now i have selected the range the student names then click ok so notice here we got all the student names here now for example uh, this is the second method now the third method i will show you for example i have a sheet 2 which contains some student names, uh, which contains some games, cricket, uh, rugby, football, basketball, and tennis, running. I have some sport names here. Now I want to add these sport names in the sheet one inside the drop down list for this example i have selected one more uh, j column j column row 2 here i want to create a drop down list and i want to get these data from sheet 2 to sheet 1 in this drop down list so select this uh, row j2 again select data data validations in the data validations under settings select the list once you select the list we get the source now once you get the source click this button once the window is small switch over to sheet 2 now copy this data the sport names notice here here the column names and those are added now click ok notice once i click ok it shifted to sheet 1 click ok see here sheet 1 I got see here we got 
क्रिकेट रग्बी फुटबॉल बास्केटबॉल टेनिस रनिंग फ्रॉम शीट टू डेटा द स्पोर्ट नेम्स आई हैव एडेड इन शीट वन इन सर दिस कॉम्बो बॉक्स और ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन नोटिस यर आई हैव सम स्टूडेंट नेम्स यर विच इज डिस्प्लेइंग इन सर दिस कॉम्बो बॉक्स नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू अपडेट दिस डेटा इन सर दिस Uh, drop down list when we add student names here i want to add automatically inside this drop down list for that first we need to make this column as a table format for that select this rows after selecting the student names go to insert in the insert notice the tables and inside under the tables click the table or you can press control t we get this option create table now we can create a table this column click okay see here now the format has been changed now we can update the data here watch out here when i'm adding the data um rupa um vijay Balram, Rosie, now I have added four names, Rupa, Vijay, Balram and Rosie, now we will check here, see here we got Rupa, Vijay, Balram, Rosie, now here we got uh, Rajesh, Vikram, Peter, again I am adding Peter, See Rajesh become Peter. If you want to add the data automatically inside this drop down list or combo box, make this column into a table format. Once you add this column as a table format, you can add the data automatically. Now, the next step if you want to uh, uh, edit the data for example here we got kumar here instead of kumar i'm adding kk enter now we'll check the data see here we got kk after lalita we got kk now here I go, i'm adding some more k kapoor see k kapoor we can edit the data here now i want to delete this data notice what will happen if i delete the data enter a check in the drop down list here we got the blank space or to remove this blank space we just right click the mouse delete table loss that's it it's gone that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to create a drop down list in excel add the items edit the items and remove the items and automatically add the items from a list in a drop down list thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial